Today we're removing the stereo from a Cadillac Katera. This is a simple process. We're going to start with opening the ashtray, removing the lock on the ashtray insert, removing this insert. This will give you access to one screw at the center of this opening we're going to remove. With the screw removed, pry this panel from the dash, releasing two clips, and you can set this panel to the side. On each side of the uh, trim panel around the dash there is a small blank panel below the first button on each side and with a small pick tool we're going to remove these blank inserts on each side of the car stereo. This will access two screws and also two from removing the ashtray assembly. With these four screws removed you can pull the entire trim panel from the dash. This will access several connectors. Uh, locate the trigger on these connectors to release them, remove the panel and set it to the side. This would give you access to four screws that secure the car stereo from the dash. Remove these screws. Now you've pulled the stereo out of the dash, and there are several connectors going into the back of this radio. We have the uh, main antenna that will be coming out of the dash. This is just a grasp the base of it and remove it. Uh, for aftermarket, you're going to need an antenna adapter to go in place of this to mate to this. And this is just, uh, if you're putting it back, just a push into place and it locks in. Uh, you may have one or two connectors on the back of your stereo. Uh, the larger connector will deal with power and speaker output. Uh, the smaller connector usually deals with steering wheel controls. But to re remove these connectors, they have triggers on them. And the one on this connector is here at the bottom. And it is a gray one. And what we're going to do is squeeze this together. And this will allow you to wiggle this connector loose. Maybe. There we go. There. Now this connector has a little latch on the top of it here. And what you're doing is you're pushing this down to lift the latch to uh, allow it to release and remove. Uh, this goes for the same for the uh, steering wheel controls. The uh, trigger is here at the bottom. And we're going to squeeze this together and wiggle this connector loose. There we go. I just heard it lock the lock release. And it's on its way out here. Okay, whoo. Sorry about that. But uh, this one has the uh, same locking mechanism. Hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe. See our website for any other questions. Thank you for watching.